every basketball game I've ever played, right? I'm not sure I've ever stepped on the court where I thought I was gonna lose. This was a game I was getting into that I didn't think I could win. But I think my definition of win was a little skewed. The first scar I got was from the perforated ulcer I had back in April. You cannot be average today, and you should be bloody. You should be scraped up, okay? You should have holes in your jersey like Hardy does. He puts holes in every jersey that he has. You should just lay it on the line. Second thing I got was this meta port here. What is my story? Where do you even begin with that? In 2018, Justin Hardy arrived at Washington University in St. Louis, a perennial Division III basketball power. This is the 215-pound machine. And when I watch video of our team from two years ago, he just stands out. He was the rookie of the year. He played like one of the best players in the country, and he was for sure going to be an All-American, no doubt about it in my mind. But during Hardy's sophomore year in 2020, Washington's season was cut short by COVID. Then his junior season was canceled altogether. Last April, in the best shape of his life, he awoke to a searing pain in his stomach. Doctors discovered a perforated ulcer, performed surgery, and then discovered something else. They felt very strong that they had observed signs of cancer. I was sure they were wrong. It, it just couldn't, I just figured they made a mistake and pathology would show that it was something different. Doctor came in and she goes, I got the pathology results back. Um, you do in fact have cancer. I'm sorry, this is probably the worst day of your life there is no cure for stage four stomach cancer right now. And I'm being put into this game that I've, you know, in theory, zero chance of winning. Yeah, give me one second. The initial prognosis that he received was um, likelihood of 12 to 18 months after diagnosis for survivorship. Beginning last June, Hardy underwent a grueling protocol of radiation and chemo treatments to battle the stage four cancer. In only a few months, those treatments had reduced the once 215 pound basketball machine to as little as 165 pounds. He looked like a shell of himself. He couldn't move. He was weak. His voice was weak and it just wasn't the same Justin. We're our best version of, our, of ourselves when he's with us. Our hope is that he could just, um, just be here physically uh, for his senior year. I didn't think there was a basketball future for him. Hardy had other ideas. By October of last year, he was practicing with the team. By November, he was in the starting lineup. Run away for Hardy, it's up and good, Justin Hardy. By December, he was dunking. Hardy down the lane strong, jams it home from the free throw line. And only a few weeks ago, he tied a career high of 28 points. And it's made. Justin Hardy. What can't Justin Hardy do? Might take a while to figure that one out. He played like the best player in the country. Yeah, I just smile because I'm like, I know what I'm witnessing right now is something that's probably never happened and probably will never happen again. There is no piece of me that was going to half-ass this. If I was going to do this, I was going to do this. Memory's playing some good defense here in the first half. Hardy, though, finds some room from distance, and he splashes one home. With his family watching from the stands, the 22-year-old Hardy struggled to get through a recent game. His condition worsens each day, a byproduct of an unrelenting cancer that recently spread to the lining of his colon. It's pills every day. It's treatment usually every other week or he can't really feel his feet or his hands. He has other things that pop up that he won't even tell you about because that's just Justin, but it is every day for him, every single day. 
I can't control the spread of the cancer inside of me. And you know, that, that portion, you know, is gonna do what it does and it might be further away than I think it is, but it's definitely closer than I want it to be. This is beating it. This is me living my life regardless of the circumstances. If this isn't beating it, I don't know what it is.